Friendswood High School is home to many great and inspiring students, but one that stands out is Nadia Asakaritari, a senior who spent the entirety of last year with a mysterious condition that left her unable to walk. I woke up that morning to get ready for school, and like when I tried getting out of bed, um, there was just like pain throughout all, both of my legs. Um, it was just complete and total agony. I, I didn't even grasp the situation because it, it didn't make sense. I mean, obviously I knew she was diabetic, but she, to my knowledge, had never had any significant health problems before, and it just, it was so strange for her just not to be there. This has been one of the hardest experiences as a mother to watch um, what had happened to Nadia when we didn't know why she couldn't walk. Um, afterwards, I was in and out of the hospital a few times during Thanksgiving, and basically they all came to the same conclusion that they couldn't find a diagnosis. She was fine, she could walk, then she had an illness, then the deterioration of her walking was the biggest challenge. Um, and not knowing what would happen next. When I first started walking at the rehabilitation center, it was it was as if I was completely starting over. Basically, they you know taught me how to sit down again, how to get up. It was like a little kid like learning how to walk for the first time. I never knew Nadia was as strong as I think she is now. I didn't realize she was my friend, but I I can't even imagine going through this process the the way that she has and coming out successful. I think the the biggest lesson that I learned from this is that and this is, you know, maybe quite cliche, but honestly, like, really be thankful for the little things in your life. Like, I don't think anyone ever thinks that maybe, like, one day that their legs would stop working, and that's definitely something I took for granted. Just taking taking life in, in all of its moments um, not for granted, being happy and thankful for all the things you have, because you honestly don't know when it'll slip away. Nadia, despite over 50 absences, is graduating and will be attending NYU next year. There is no doubt that she will go on to do great things.